Hey everyone, welcome back to another video of Uta Macross. But right now, it is the first day of the new year. So, Happy New Year to everyone. Hopefully, you guys had a wonderful celebration um, from Eve to the new year itself. And of course, for the Japanese fans who are watching this video, Ake Mashite Omereto Gozaimasu. So, <laughs> Happy New Year to everyone uh, all across the world. And well, we are here with the first day of New Year. Of course, it means a brand new event has started. And of course, when there's a brand new event, there is also a brand new gacha. So as you can see the banners flashing by on the main screen of Uta Macross, you can see that Freya has a brand new kimono costume that is ready for us to unlock. Alright, so before everything else, let's dive into the Nyan Nyan Matsuri tab. And we're going to take a look at some of the stuff that is available right now. So first thing we see that there is the new icon on above these three tabs available within the Nian Nian Matsuri. Of course, um, the first one being the Singing Stone page uh, that you can purchase all these special bundles along with it. And of course, within this special bundle here, um, is like I mentioned in my previous video, the bundles that you have purchased before the crossover to 2019, those um, were a teaser to the amount of singing stones you can actually fully purchase. But now that we have crossed over 2019, there is another bundle, another set of uh, singing stone special packs that you can purchase. But of course, if you take a look, there, there is one singing stone pack that is missing, which is the one that gives the guaranteed uh, 5 star episode plate. Uh, ticket which is no longer there and of course um, the ones that we really want to talk about right now is the special bundles that come with the Nyan Kuji tickets so these are very crucial when it comes to pulling the two episode plates available for the Nyan Nyan Kuji uh, box itself so should you actually purchase these uh, discounted packs that have resurfaced uh, after 2019 well it really depends on um, the amount of rewards you have claimed from the Koji box itself. But of course, you have to take note that these uh, discounted packs do have an expiration date of 3 days. So guys, once you have actually seen for yourself, uh, used up the entire stack of uh, Koji tickets that you currently have on hand, and you are not able to extract out the second episode plate from the box itself, then you might want to consider purchasing these special bundles um, for the tickets itself because it is definitely a lot of money involved here guys so do think hard about it all right so let's move on uh, we're gonna take a look at the uh, Nyan Kuji box itself right now and of course oh <laughs> we get to see that Mikumo is definitely a character within the plate design uh, I actually speculated that uh, oops um, <laughs> that Minmei was actually the character instead of Mikumo because of the hair swirl but I guess I was wrong but I did speculate that Kaname was the second diva involved because of the hair um, style that was in the shadow it was pretty obvious but kind of weird to have Minmei and Kaname together but uh, I guess I was wrong so <laughs> I didn't expect Mikumo's hair to be in that kind of style so now we only have Makina and Reina left within the Valkyrie team who are not in a New Year exclusive episode plate and then of course we can probably expect them to appear next year in 2020 but for now let's take a look at the episode plates details and to see whether it's actually worth your money in purchasing all the uh, singing stone packs to get those tickets to extract out another copy of this plate um, of course we're going to take a look at it at the evolved version point of view and we get to see Messer uh, in between the two ladies. First thing first, let's take a look at the total score which is a 3005. Well balanced stats all around the board and since it is the New Year exclusive episode plate, it is equipable by all the divas currently within the game itself. And as for its center skill, well basically it is supporting the blue elements uh, well, the blue element songs and the unit uh, total will be increased by 25% up. So yeah, a pretty okay episode plate for Blue Element songs if you don't have any of them. Uh, let's take a look at the ex active skill though. It's a life recovery of 30%. Um, not the best out there because the top 
uh, healing plate is a uh, 50% healer and it's act, uh, life skill basically at the beginning of the 30 second mark for 7 seconds your score is boosted by 80% up which is a pretty um, normal kind of skill that you get from the paid gacha plates itself so I don't know maybe getting a paid episode plate uh, will definitely be a better choice than getting this one. Alright, so let's take a look at the next page. Um, sadly to say, this episode plate does not come with any special notes uh, attached to it, unlike the one we got last year for 2018, where the plate actually came with item notes attached with it. So it, it kind of makes this plate pretty much uh, redundant as compared to last year's one, uh, since the, the life skill is pretty much um, generic as compared to those that has, uh, that can be pulled from the paid gachas itself. So it really makes you wonder whether you should actually purchase those special discounted packs just for the second copy of this episode plate if you have not pulled it out just yet, mainly due to bad luck. Um, in my opinion, I would say hold on to it um, because, well, it is advisable to purchase the discounted packs right now um, but looking at the episode play itself, it is equipable to all the divas available in the game, which is making it very versatile in terms of use. Um, but I will only highly recommend you to uh, maybe um, unlock the episode play's uh, evolved form, maybe with a rarity upstart if you have subscribed to the Utamaku Pass a subscription that is about 1200 yen a month. Um, if not, well, I would say you could probably skip out on evolving this episode plate because it is a lot of money uh, involved with getting extra tickets uh, which you do not want to anyhow spend. Um, it would still be better for you to save the money aside to have a more comfortable living within the month itself. You know, that kind of thing. But then again, um, buying the bundle packs is... Uh, beneficial in the long run mainly because it is a lot cheaper to purchase them now uh, which will definitely put yourself in a bit of a pinch financially financially for this month but in the long term run at least you won't have to be spending a lot more money on getting lesser stones for upcoming gachas so anyway guys that's about it for now so i'm gonna do a pulling of the kuji as you can see i have 445 tickets uh, mainly because i purchased all the bundles um, back in 2018 uh, and yeah I'm definitely going to try and obtain both plates out from this um, Kuji box as of now um, yeah so it really depends on luck 445 might be just enough considering that this list has 200 items so I do have two, uh, 245 tickets left over uh, after this and if you tap the button you can actually see all the wonderful items that you can receive um, from this list of items and it's like 200 items within this box so it's quite a bit to go through uh, so let's do this uh, right now all right so we're gonna have to do this 10 by 10 because uh, that's how the system works it's not set up in a way that you can pull all the tickets at one go <laughs> all right so the first one uh, we do get the Valkyrie um, item for the diva factions so that's pretty awesome. Okay. Alright, next one. Okay, we do get the apple. So that's not too bad as well. It seems like every 10 pool we'll be getting some kind of item for the affection. And we get a pizza. Fantastic. Alright, oh, we do get the episode plate, so not too bad. It seems like our luck is pretty awesome. So, but the thing is, we have to go through all the items, the 160 items remaining before we go to the next page. So that's kind of a bummer. So it is guaranteed that you do need at least a minimum of 200 tickets before you encounter, uh, or rather you start using your luck factor to obtain the second episode plate. So, yeah, there we go, we have the jellyfish. Uh, yeah, so 200 tickets is the bare minimum that you need before you start panicking and thinking about whether the tickets are enough or not to get the second piece out from the box, which is pretty scary. 
uh, considering that if your luck is terrible, we do get the gigantic luck note though, so luck luck stone. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. Um, I mean, what am I talking about? We're gonna claim the entire two hundred list of items. So uh, let's try and fast forward this. Uh, I this there's no way to fast forward it. So it's pretty annoying that they only set up the the Kuji in a way that you only can pull ten at a go. Yeah, I mean Dana, come on, you could have set it up to like clear the first 200 immediately and then the rest of the next next listing could be done in this manner you know because people want to see their luck and we've got a bowl of noodles there so that's pretty <laughs> it's making me hungry <laughs> oh no okay so guys um yeah do bear with me for a moment as i go through the rest of the last 60 items uh, there we go keep going Alright, I don't think Dana will like, watch my videos and listen to my advices. Uh, after all, it is a Japanese company. I don't know anyone in Dana who probably knows English. So, um, yeah, uh, my advice to Dana if you're actually watching this somehow, or maybe if a Japanese fan submits a, re a request form, um, yeah, do advise them to like... Um, have oh my goodness the second list has 350 items holy crap all right so let's see if we get the second episode played uh with luck oh my goodness we <laughs> i got it <laughs> all right so i didn't really have to use up all my tickets wow i could probably have saved so much money um, if I knew my luck was this good. So there we go, we have a case and point uh, point of view. Um, if your luck is as good as mine this time round for the new year, I, I don't know. The luck is just there for this Kuji box. So I don't know whether it's exactly the same as the gacha itself. So let's take a look at the episode plate here. There we go. Can show you guys the full image of the evolved form with Mesa. And of course the pre-evolved version. Pretty fantastic. Loving the artwork. So yeah, I, I could have probably saved myself a lot of money um, if I knew my luck was this good. But I can't say for sure whether my luck would be this awesome in the gacha uh, banner itself. I mean, after all, the Kuji, the items are all pre-listed, everything there for you. You definitely guarantee yourself in pulling everything out. Uh, eventually, if you have enough tickets, unlike the Kuch, uh, unlike the gachas, gachas are uh, uh, based off a percentage rating of, you know, chance. So yeah. Anyway, guys, here here the gacha banner. We're gonna take a look at the free, uh, the new banner here. As you can see, Freya. Of course, there is the ten plate free episode gacha pool as well. Um, if you have seen me posted about it on the Micro Space Time the Culture page. Um, you know that there is three rounds of free template pools. Uh, do take note though that the there is a expiration date um, for these gacha banners. So make sure you pull them whenever possible. Um, as this one, this one is currently going to expire on the 9th of January. Yeah, at that particular timing. So yeah, make sure um, you pull them straight away whenever you see it available. Make sure you log in every day just to check. Um, although the dates are available on this um, image um, that I'll probably leave right here okay so check it out make sure you get those dates memorized um, and of course you know make sure you check out the costumes available within those gachas itself um, and hope for, hope for the best that you can actually obtain um, those episode plates that, you, that have the costume points that you require Alright, so here we go, the first free template pool. Uh, it's loading quite a bit, so I don't know, maybe my luck might change? Hmm, let's see. Here we go, guys. Oh dear, one plane, that's it? Uh-oh, there's no red boxes. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, so as you can see, the luck is terrible, um, even in the free gacha pool. Like I said earlier, the gacha luck and the kuji luck is very different um, because, well, kuji you definitely eventually get it um, if you have enough of the tickets 
but for... Oh, here we go, the red box. Uh, so it kept... Okay, it didn't evolve, but... I think I don't have this episode plate. Yeah, yeah, so it's a brand new plate. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, even though it's a pretty flopped pool. Um, have to see new episode plates is pretty awesome itself. So that's pretty fantastic. Um, yeah. Oh. Okay, so... What was I saying again? <laughs> uh, anyways, yeah, so I'm gonna do this. Uh, let me check to see whether I have enough tickets for this one. Uh, okay, so I've only got seven, so three more to go. We'll probably do that in a different video, but for now we can do this free pool as well. Uh, maybe it might kind of um, push the luck factor a bit closer to me before I do the main banner itself. There you go. So no planes. Uh, will it stay silver all the way? Yeah, it does. Okay, let's skip this. Uh, oh, okay. So I do get an episode plate that is pretty rare, I guess, for common. <laughs> I don't see it very often. So that's pretty fantastic. Alright, so let's dive into the main banner for this current event. Uh, let's take a look and see whether Freya's episode plate is definitely worth your singing stones and your money. So the first thing we'll take a look is the divas equipable with this episode plate. Surprisingly enough, Basara is one of them and the total value of the episode plate is 3,308, focusing on voice. So that's pretty okay. Um, guess the song in this event is for voice. And the unit center skill, basically the unit support is increased by 20% up. So it's pretty strange. Um, that the center skill is actually a support boost which doesn't come by often the active skill for tw uh, the first 20 seconds um, well, for 20 seconds actually uh, your your notes are easier to type uh, tap so I don't know with all this indicating um, the difficulty of the song I guess uh, under extreme where your enemies are tougher to fight uh, that makes it difficult to get Cho Wutahi in mode and of course maybe the notes are very quick in response that's why you have that kind of active skill anyway guys let's take a look at the live skills so live skill at the 30 second mark for 7 seconds your score is boosted by 80% up so immediately well with the active skill and its uh, center skill this, this episode played from the gacha banners uh, definitely are triumphants over the New Year and uh, New Year episode plate. <laughs> so guys, I don't know. You might want to spend more singing stones on this, getting this episode plate rather than maybe spending your money on getting the um, New Year episode plate. And surprisingly enough, well, this episode plate doesn't have any special notes attached to it. Um, yeah, so. Hmm, is this plate actually worth your money? I would say it's pretty decent because of its, uh, well, life skill and it has higher stats than as compared to the New Year uh, episode plate. But anyway guys, I only will probably spend um, enough for just a template pool and that's it. So yeah, I want to save up the rest of my singing stones for the upcoming future um, gachas that will be coming. Yeah. So making full use of the discounted offer uh, av available at this point in time. So with that all said, um, key in, have all these factors uh, into your head before you decide on purchasing the discounted Singing Stone packs. Um, whether you need them for the Kuji tickets or basically you want to have cheaper Singing Stones for future gacha pools. Alright guys, so let's do this. We're going to do one single template pool. Um, for Freya's new kimono costume, hopefully I do get something, um, you know, from this pool itself. But, you know, with the terrible luck that I've been having since 2018, I don't know whether 2019 will show me any uh, mercy. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Um, we do get a bit of loading bar, but I don't know. Alright, here we go. Touch this thing. Boop. Okay, we do get five planes though. Two red boxes on the first bling. Five red boxes on the second bling. Wow. 
Okay, this one doesn't evolve. We do get Mirage. I'm pretty happy about that. Um, so, not too bad. Second red box. No evolution. Woo, Maki Maki in her kimono. Very nice. Looking fantastic. Normal box. Okay, let's skip this one. Skip this one as well. There's a dog barking in my neighborhood. I don't know whether you guys can actually hear all this um, background noises. <laughs> Alright, here's the third box. So no every Ooh, Ray Ray! We get a pairing! Yay! You can never have Makina without Reina. <laughs> Alright, so. Oh! Yay! We do get an Evolve Plate and it's not the new Freya Plate. God dang it! <laughs> why, Dana? Why do you keep trolling me like this? Uh, I want the new Freya Plate, not the very first one that came out in the game. Oh! Oh, another Makina! Okay! A lot of uh, Kiawawa-ness going on in this particular pool. Um, so, okay, it's not the best gacha pool, but we do get costume points for Freya's new costume, uh, which is pretty fantastic. But I don't have enough singing stones um, to unlock her costume at this point in time because mainly I tossed it into the um, Christmas costumes of Ranka and Cheryl. Uh, anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, as always, I, I do hope your luck for the Gacha and the Kuji um, will be as good as mine or better than mine. Because, um, well, it is a brand new year, so I'm expecting maybe some kind of a better boost in luck for 2019. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching once again. Uh, Happy New Year to you all. And hopefully you guys have a blessed, wonderful day uh, in the beginning of January. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next Utah Micros video. Bye!